Welcome back to Morning Break. It's time now for our Monday Motivations. We're here with Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist. And today, Dr. Randall Gates, we're talking about, you know, reoccurring dizziness. And vertigo. chiropractic physician. We also yeah. have to put Oh, yes. Yeah, chiropractic yeah. physician as well. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So talk to me about this specific type of vertigo. So BPPV is the most common type of vertigo. It refers to benign paroxysmal positional mm -hmm. vertigo. Simply, people will have vertigo, room spins around them. Right. When they're laying down, rolling over in bed, getting up from a laying position, right. events such as that. It's due to crystals being out in the inner ear. Mm -hmm. Think of it as like little sand, okay. pieces of sand that come out of one portion of the inner ear, go to another portion where they shouldn't be, Mm -hmm. It creates more specific gravity and then the fluid in your inner ear moves too much for all intents and purposes. Gotcha, okay. So that causes momentary vertigo. Mm -hmm. um, going a level deeper, these crystals kind of sit on a, a gelatinous membrane. Think of like a jelly sandwich. Okay. And so the sand is on the jelly and it displaces and then that's what causes this vertigo. So then the question is why is this happening? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people only have this happen once. Mm. And it's not fun. Lots of times yeah. it's really scary. Frequently people end up in the emergency room with it. And they're told to go home. There's a certain type of maneuver you can do to kind of guide the crystals back into their home. Okay, that's really interesting. I guess who is more susceptible to getting vert vertigo? Is it anybody? It can really happen to anybody, but the elderly certainly seem to experience a lot of BPPV okay. as well. Interesting. And, elder, you know, higher age demographics, we'll say it that way. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to this type of vertigo, what other than dizziness, is there any other symptoms that people can look out for or they immediately experience? They usually immediately experience that. Uh, there are other types of vertigo that have other manifestations, mm -hmm. but usually this is just associated with vertigo, not ringing in the ear, not fullness okay. in the ear, things of that right. nature. Going deeper though, I see a lot of patients who keep having BPPV, and mm -hmm. usually BPPV happens once or a few times, but if it's happening all the time, mm -hmm. that raises a question, is there something else going on beneath the surface? Right. Things like low vitamin D can be really mm -hmm. important for that. Mm -hmm. uh, migraines can be a predisposing factor for this. Right. So can Meniere's disease. Okay. Which is a condition that causes kind of the inner ear to swell. You can yeah. think of it that way. Yeah, nothing fun at all to say the Not least. Not fun at all. Oh but my goodness. I guess what do treatments look like mm -hmm. traditionally? Traditionally, um, an individual will go to their primary or they might go to an ENT. They're, they're mm -hmm. tested and then they're told to go home and do this maneuver and it either works or it doesn't. Or they go to a physical therapist uh, who specializes in balance disorders. Mm -hmm. And lots of times it works. Right, yes. And then by the same token, I see a lot of people where it keeps happening and it's not working. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where my piece comes in, where right. I look at the deeper levels of it. And it's really confusing for the dizziness patient. Because say, for example, you have migraine headaches. Right. And the migraines are causing the crystals to come out. And the two can play off of each other. Mm -hmm. Or if someone has vestibular migraines, which is like a migraine headache in the brain stem and the cerebellum, they'll feel like they're rocking and bobbing all the time. But they can also have this type of... Oh, BPPV going on at the same time too. Right. So what do you, what treatments do you guys recommend? What do mm. you take mm -hmm. or prescribe to your gotcha. patients? Gotcha. Well, I do a really thorough history. I do a three-hour examination. It's really intensive. Mm -hmm. I do my own uh, computerized eye movement testing. And then I also, lots of times, I'm running labs to look at deeper causes such as thyroid disorders predispose right. people to reoccurrent BPV. BPPV, mm -hmm. uh, vitamin D levels are really important. Even the position you sleep in can be really important oh, wow. as to why it keeps happening. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess yeah. to talk to that mm -hmm. and sleep positions, mm -hmm. what do you recommend in that case? Well, it depends on the individual. The yeah, yeah, and that, okay. And what we're finding in their exam, mm -hmm. and then we go into deeper levels of nutrition, supplementation, stress. Uh, brain exercises because lots of times think of it this way yeah if your car if you put on tires that are two inches larger mm -hmm. that can throw off the computer right for exactly. how fast you're going mm -hmm. and so that same thing happens with the inner ear when we have bppv it can then affect the brain and how it processes signals from the inner ear wow. and that can create residual dizziness too exactly wow so. well anything you want people to know who are battling you know vertigo dizziness mm -hmm. what do you recommend for them um i recommend if they're not getting answers feel free to check out my youtube page okay. just go on youtube search gates brain health vertigo gates brain health dizziness and i have a number of videos there they're pretty 
explanatory mm -hmm. for a number of different conditions. So Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dr. Randall Gates. We'll definitely have all that information posted on our website at colotv.com. We'll be right back.